isometric scale tree. Given the elevation, the plan and the end view of this solid. This is the model. When you're looking directly down on it, that's the view. Surface one, two, three, four and six. Five is at the end and you cannot see it in this position. And 11 is at the front. The end view. That's it there. Four. Five. Six is the sloping surface and seven is the end. And nine is along the side here, a sloping edge. And the elevation, surface eight, nine and ten. You cannot see the rest of it in that position. The question is, draw the isometric to the isometric scale. This is the view we're going to see in isometric. You'll see all the surfaces that's numbered. So to get that, I set up the isometric scale at 30 and 45 degrees. And using a template, I have set off the lengths, marked them off on the 45 degree line, like that, drawn vertically down to the 30 degree line, and then scale, scale length, marked them, and then transferred them down to the isometric view down here. I set up a scale here for the height. So using uh, another template, taking the heights from the elevation. I'm not taking the circle now. Mark them on the 45 degree line, draw vertically down and take them on the scale side and mark the scale heights on the end here. The width of the piece, the same thing. Using another template, took the widths Mark them on the 45 degree line, scale them down to the 30, mark them on the template and transfer them onto the isometric view. And now line in the points, which are 30 degree set square. You're just lining in light lines. So it's the box or cage that the model will fit into. That's the first heavy line there now. And now the end of the piece here. That's the slope at the front there. And again, the slope on the top piece. And now the slope along the base piece here, join it out to the point at the corner there but you can't run the full way because it's cut off and then join that point down to get the slope and line in your drawing now the circle again I use the same template but transfer the points got to do with the circle on it so point these points we're taking these points here and number them six and then transfer these points onto the 45 degree line zero one, two, three, four, five, and six. Draw them vertically down to the 30 degree line. And using the scale side of the template, mark them on and transfer them onto the drawing. And then just number them now, 
and draw vertically down from those points. Now we're taking the heights of the circle. So again, using the height template, mark the points and number them. And set them off on the 45 degree line. Draw vertically down. Transfer your heights to the template. And then onto your drawing. And using your 30 degree set square, draw the lines in. Now to find the points, that's point 3, 2, 4, 5 and 1. And there's your curve drawn lightly in. Now to get the back curve, we're going to do draw back at 30 degrees from each point. Set the compass to the thickness of the piece and step it off on each of these 30 degree lines. And that gets you the bark curve. And that's it with a little bit of color added to it. And that's isometric tree complete.